Hey wonderful people, we are back here again talking about Law of Attraction and Manifestation. I'm your guy Frank, let's get to it. We're talking about resistance. What does it look like? What does it feel like? I think you know what it does. Resistance will resist your ability to get what you want. So what does it feel like? It, well, it kind of feels like that struggle. Like, I want to be, say say this, you want to feel, you want to feel um, resistance. Say this. <laughs> if you're not a millionaire, say this. I'm going to be a millionaire in the next 10 seconds. You, do you see what happened? Do you see you, right away your mind says, no, that's not realistic. And maybe you felt that was unrealistic. Or maybe you felt on something else. Those are the feelings and those are the thoughts of resistance. Because now... I'll grant you, you're probably not going to be a millionaire in the next 10 seconds. But there are going to be things you're going to manifest that are going to seem just as outrageous. But can, yes, can definitely come true. And we have to be able to say those things and push through the resistance that we have for those things. Because the mind and the brain really doesn't know. It's very limited and your higher self can push through you and your your spiritual self to push through that resistance and get that thing that seemed unimaginable. And I've done this a million times and so have you. If you've gotten anything that you have never imagined possible in your life, that's it. You've pushed through some kind of resistance because that lack of belief is resistance that is what will cause resistance resistance think of it too like electricity in a wire got one right here electricity moves through this wire it has a bit of resistance in it and that bit of a resistance will heat the wire up now if you put something like uh I don't know, uh, a orange peel in the wire and connected these two wires together. The electricity will still go through, but there'll be a lot of resistance on this. It'll slow it down and less electricity will get to the other side. It's the same things that is happening to your manifestation. A lot less of your energy gets through to manifest because of the resistance that is inherent in whatever your beliefs are or we won't even go into all that. One of the best aspects I have used to get around resistance is just blind faith. Faith, 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 faith. It's a, there's a reason why it's brought up a million times in the Bible. It's because it works and it gets you from point A to point Z, even though it's unimaginably too far away and you can't imagine it. It's how miracles happen. How you can get to have miracles in your life, even though you, there's no way you can imagine it. Because you gave up feeling the struggle and just said, I have faith that this is going to work out. I don't know how it's going to work out. Uh, just if you believe in God, say, you know, he's going to handle it. He's going to... Uh, that's my dream. He put that in my heart and I'm going forward on that. Or you can also say, uh, you could do that with Jesus. You can do that with the universe. I don't have to know how the universe works for it to manifest in my life. It just will. You can do that. And that works. I've done that as well. You just have to put it out there and have faith. Blind faith. Right? Right? This blind faith, just put it out there. Just try some of these things and you'll see how this works. This gets rid of, faith gets rid, it just bypasses resistance. It bypasses the technical and analytical, analytical mind because the analytical mind is just, it, it's, it's made to shoot things down. When we were predators in the savannah and your ancestors wanted to go across the savannah for whatever reason, which honestly for a cave person probably wasn't the best reason. The, the brain said, 
I can think of 20,000 reasons why you're not going to do that. The, those, those red ants will eat you up alive, alive. There's the snakes over there. There's lions usually behind that grass over there. And the sun, the sun is incredibly hot, man. And this is before shoes. So if you step on something sharp, that could kill you. That infection could kill you. All right, that's what the brain does. That's, that's what it's there for. Uh, and that's what it's going to do for you. It's not the bad guy, it's just that's the job and your your job is to get around that and you can just bypass that with faith. Also, just give up the feeling that things have to be hard. A lot of us have been told in our childhood that things have to be hard. Our parents may have had hard lives and tried to instill in us that things are hard and that carries over into our belief. And then when it's in our belief, then we manifest it like that. We manifest what we are. When we own that belief, we are that belief, and you will manifest it out into your life. And then things become hard. And then your brain can say, see, things really are hard, just like our parents, just like my mom told me, right? Hey, and that's a, a big reason why we turn out a lot like our parents, because we owned all that stuff. Things are not necessarily hard. Money when you know how to do it, money ain't hard. There are people making way over, I don't know, 30, 50, 60, $100,000 a month. And they'll tell you <laughs> $10,000 a month is easy. Easy. They can do it falling out of bed. It, so it is easy. Don't think that things are hard just because they're hard for you now. They're only hard for you now, just like riding a bike was hard for you. When you started riding a bike, you didn't know how to ride a bike. And they said, well, kid, it's easy. Just do that. And, and you got so frustrated. Stop telling me it's easy and start helping me. Right. It's the same thing. The same thing. Everything's easy when you know how to do it. So stop thinking that things are hard. And things, you will loosen up that resistance and any easiness that can come through to you will come through to you. And honestly, the most difficult part to making money is not the making of the money. It's the making of you to be the person that makes the money. That's the most difficult part. You're not making the money. You're making a new you that makes the money. You didn't even know that level of difficulty. And it doesn't matter. Ignorance is bliss, right? It really is. <laughs> and it's okay. Because you could say, hey, I'm giving it up to the universe. The universe, oh God, they're going to handle all my problems. And I'm going to keep going forward. I'm going to have faith that this all happens well. And it gets all ironed out. And all my dreams come true. I'm just having faith that that's how all this is going to that the, all this is how all this is going to settle out. That's usually how it happens. <laughs> so I have faith. Done.